Musically, this was Tony and Brian's show. Terry and John were there to make up the numbers, we might as well have unplugged their microphones. But they added to the street tough gang image of the band. Soon the other band members were getting irked that Tony got paid more than them because he got the songwriting royalties. It's the eternal boy band dilemma, people who can't write songs being disgruntled that they aren't making money from writing songs. Terry Coldwell even became peeved that reporters would only want to talk to Tony, thus depriving the public of the Coldwell oracle of wit and wisdom. Yep, it's the other eternal boy band dilemma, people with nothing to say being disgruntled that people aren't interested in their opinions. After Brian was sacked, East 17 carried on for a while, but really it was time to tell Tweedledee and Tweedledum to put their tops back on and go home. Then again, Terry Coldwell always looked so confused and mashed that I wondered if he could find his way home. At least John Hendy could always go back to roofing.